Welcome to the News Hub. We're excited to have you here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for latest news and updates. Now dive into the video. Lately, you might have come across some pretty alarming headlines and viral social media posts. They claim that the USGS has issued a red alert for Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood, three of the most iconic volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. According to these stories, these volcanoes, each a towering giant in the Cascade Range, are supposedly on the brink of a major eruption with some even suggesting that disaster could strike at any moment. The rumors don't stop there. Some reports go so far as to claim that scientists have discovered massive underground magma tunnels, stretching for miles and connecting these volcanoes beneath the surface. The implication is dramatic. If one volcano erupts, it could supposedly set off a chain reaction, causing all three to erupt in quick succession and unleashing a catastrophic event across the entire region. This sensational narrative has spread like wildfire online, stoking fear and anxiety among people who live near these mountains, and even those far beyond the region. But as captivating as these stories are, it's important to remember that not everything you see or hear online is accurate. Exciting headlines and viral videos can often distort the truth or leave out key facts. When it comes to natural hazards like volcanoes, separating fact from fiction isn't just helpful, it's absolutely essential for public safety and peace of mind. That's why it's so important to turn to real experts like volcanologists and the USGS, who dedicate their lives to monitoring these mountains and sharing reliable information with the public. So, what's the truth behind these viral claims? Has the USGS actually issued a red alert for these volcanoes or found evidence of vast magma tunnels linking them together? In this video, we'll break down the real science behind these volcanoes, explain what's actually happening right now, and show you how to find trustworthy, up-to-date information for yourself. We'll dig into the facts, look at the latest scientific data, and help you understand what's really going on, so you can feel confident and informed, not misled by rumors. Forget the rumors and the hype, Let's see what the data and the experts actually say about the risks, and what you really need to watch for. Here's what you need to know to separate sensationalism from science, and to stay safe and well-informed about the volcanoes in your region. A red alert from the USGS is the highest level of volcanic warning, reserved for when a hazardous eruption is happening or imminent. This is not a routine advisory or a minor update. It's the most urgent message the USGS can send out about a volcano. When a red alert is issued, it means the situation is extremely serious and demands immediate attention from everyone in the affected area. It's not issued lightly. Scientists rely on a combination of seismic activity, gas emissions, satellite imagery, and direct observations to make this call. They have strong evidence that an eruption is underway or about to occur within hours or even minutes. The decision is based on real-time data and years of expertise, not speculation or guesswork. A red alert signals immediate danger, explosive eruptions, massive ash clouds that can threaten aviation safety, and life-threatening hazards on the ground like pyroclastic flows, lava, and falling ash. It means communities near the volcano may need to evacuate, flights could be grounded, and emergency services are on high alert. Think of it as the building-wide fire alarm. Everyone must act, right now. It's a call to action for local authorities, emergency responders, and the public to take immediate steps to protect lives and property. If a red alert were ever declared for a major Cascade volcano, it would be headline news everywhere, not a rumor on social media. You'd see it on the front page of newspapers, breaking news on TV, and alerts on your phone. The USGS would announce it through official channels, emergency alerts, and major news networks. There would be press conferences, live updates, and coordinated messages from government agencies to ensure everyone gets the information they need. The fact that you're only hearing about this in online rumors is a big clue. It's not real. Real red alerts are never secret or hidden. They're designed to reach as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. Red alerts are public, urgent, and impossible to miss. They're broadcast on every available platform, from TV and radio to loudspeakers in towns and cities. If you haven't seen it from the USGS, it hasn't happened. Always check official sources before believing or sharing alarming news about volcanic activity. The USGS uses a four-level color-coded alert system, green, normal, yellow, advisory, orange, watch, and red, warning. Green means the volcano is quiet, no unusual activity. Yellow signals some unrest like increased earthquakes or gas but not necessarily an eruption. Orange means heightened unrest with a higher chance of eruption. 
Time to review emergency plans. Red is the highest level. A hazardous eruption is imminent or underway. Most U.S. volcanoes, including those in the Cascades, spend years at green. The system is designed for clarity, so emergency managers and the public know exactly what to expect. If a volcano status changes, the USGS updates the alert level and shares it widely. There's no secret code, just clear, public information. If you want to know a volcano's status, check the official alert level. It's that simple. So what's the real status of these Cascade volcanoes? With so many rumors and dramatic headlines floating around, it's easy to wonder if these iconic peaks are on the verge of erupting. Let's take a closer look at what's actually happening right now. As of today, August 6, 2025, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood are all at green normal. That's the lowest alert level possible, meaning there's no sign of unusual activity or increased risk. These volcanoes are being closely watched by scientists every single day, no red alert, no orange watch, not even a yellow advisory. The official alert level is as calm as it gets, and there's no indication of any change on the horizon. This information is public, just check the USGS Volcano Hazards Program website for real-time updates. The site is updated regularly, and anyone can access the latest data and alerts directly from the experts. You'll see a line of green icons across the Cascade Range. Each green icon represents a volcano that's currently quiet with no signs of unrest or increased activity. These volcanoes are active in a geologic sense, but that just means they could erupt someday. Not that they're dangerous right now. In fact, most of the time, these mountains are peaceful, drawing hikers, climbers, and photographers from all over the world. Monitoring data shows no signs of impending eruption, seismic activity is normal, gas emissions are steady, and ground deformation is unchanged. Scientists use a network of sensors and instruments to track even the smallest changes, and right now, everything is stable. The Cascades Volcano Observatory confirms this calm state in their regular updates. Their teams are constantly analyzing data, ready to alert the public if anything unusual happens. The rumors of a red alert are completely false and contradict all scientific data. Misinformation can spread quickly but it's important to rely on trusted sources and official reports. If anything changed, the USGS would let everyone know immediately. They have systems in place to notify the public through press releases, alerts, and even emergency broadcasts if needed. For now, the science is clear. These volcanoes are quiet, there's no hidden danger, and the experts are keeping a close watch so you don't have to worry. Now let's tackle the wildest claim giant magma tunnels connecting these volcanoes. It's pure fiction. While the Cascade volcanoes are part of the same range, each has its own separate magma system. Think of them as houses on the same street, close but with their own plumbing. The magma beneath Mount St. Helens is different from that under Mount Rainier or Mount Hood. There's no evidence of a shared chamber or tunnels. Eruptions at one volcano don't trigger eruptions at the others. The idea of a single massive magma tunnel is a movie trope, not scientific reality. The Earth's crust is solid and complex, not hollow. Geologists do study deep zones of partially molten rock, but these are not liquid tunnels. Satellites can't see miles into solid rock to map out magma tunnels. That's simply not possible. This rumor is a misunderstanding, not a discovery. So how do scientists actually monitor volcanoes? They use networks of seismometers to detect tiny earthquakes, GPS stations to measure ground movement, and sensors to analyze volcanic gases. These tools reveal changes deep underground, like magma rising or pressure building. Scientists combine this data with satellite imagery of the surface to get a complete picture. If anything unusual happens, they spot it fast. The system is so sensitive even small changes are detected and reported. That's why the USGS can confidently say when a volcano is quiet, or when it's time to raise the alert. There's no guesswork, just science and constant monitoring. Why are the Cascade volcanoes quiet while Hawaiian volcanoes erupt more often? It's all about geology. The Cascades are stratovolcanoes, tall, steep, and built from sticky, gas-rich lava. Their eruptions are explosive but rare, with long, quiet periods. Hawaiian volcanoes like Kilauea are shield volcanoes. Their runny lava erupts frequently but gently, creating broad, sloping mountains. That's why you often see news about eruptions in Hawaii, but not in the Cascades. Kilauea can be at orange or red alert for months. That's normal for Hawaii, but would be extraordinary for a Cascade volcano. 
Each volcano system is unique. Activity in Hawaii doesn't mean danger in the Cascades. Don't confuse one with the other. Different volcanoes, different behaviors. In a world of viral rumors, knowing where to get real information is essential. For U.S. volcanoes, the USGS is the official source. Their Volcano Hazards Program website shows real-time alert levels, maps and updates for every monitored volcano. Click on any volcano for detailed status, webcam images, and scientific reports. Regional observatories like the Cascades Volcano Observatory offer even more local detail. The USGS also posts updates on official social media accounts. Always check these sources first. If there's real danger, you'll see it here. Be skeptical of dramatic headlines from anonymous accounts. Trust the experts, not the hype. Stay informed, not alarmed. Here's the bottom line. There is no USGS red alert for Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, or Mount Hood. All three are at green normal, quiet and closely monitored. The claim about interconnected magma tunnels is pure myth. Each volcano is a separate system, one doesn't trigger the others. The Cascade Range's geology simply doesn't support these rumors. It's natural to be curious about volcanoes but don't let fear take over. The USGS makes it easy to check the facts for yourself. Next time you see a scary headline, pause and look up the real status. Scientists are watching and you can too. The verdict? The Cascade volcanoes are quiet, there are no magma tunnels and there is no red alert. Enjoy the beauty of these mountains with knowledge not fear.